we have a rod of mass m and a wedge of mass eta m we need to find their accelerations so assuming that on the common surface the normal reaction on each body is n we can write f is equal to ma for each of these bodies so for the rod it will be mg minus n cos alpha is equal to ma1 and for wedge towards right we can write n sin alpha is equal to eta ma2 but this gives us only two equations while our variables are n a1 and a2 so we need one more equation and that we will get by relating a1 and a2 because their surface is common so here the constraint relation between the rod and the wedge we will figure out to find the relation between a1 and a2 so concept here when two surfaces are in contact is that if you take any two points adjacent to each other on each of the bodies then their velocities in per direction perpendicular to the surface is equal so we get this from here so if you if this particle moves let's say displacement dx perpendicular in this direction and this particle moves a distance dx perpendicular so they have to be same otherwise the surface will get separated so when two objects are in contact then displacement or velocity or acceleration in direction perpendicular to the common surface is equal otherwise they will either separate or merge into each other so you can imagine so suppose dx of the first is not same as dx perpendicular of the other one so if this dx is more in this direction then this will merge into this and if this dx is more in this direction then the surfaces will separate but here in this problem the surfaces are never separating so along the direction of the normal to the surface the velocities must be same so why velocities must be same because so if we have this right so if you do dx perpendicular by dt you get v perpendicular is equal to v perpendicular for both the bodies you differentiate it again and we get a perpendicular is equal to a perpendicular so that's what we are going to use on the direction perpendicular to the common surface we are going to write the accelerations to be equal in this direction so if a1 is downwards and we can see this is alpha so in this direction the acceleration of the rod is a1 cos alpha which is equal to a2 so this angle is again alpha let me this angle is also alpha so in this direction acceleration of wedge is a2 sin alpha so a1 cos alpha is equal to a2 sin alpha so this is our third equation so now we have three variables and three equations so solving that we can get a1 and a2